Today we're basically showing the facilitation of our unisolar thin film laminate integrated with our Artisanos hybrid roofing system. Basically what we have here is we have a unisolar laminate, a PVL68. It's been used for a very long time now. It's been proven. It works. And basically the idea is we grab the laminate, we flip it, flip the laminate, just flip it around. The laminate has an adhesive on the bottom. You peel the plastic. Let's flip the laminate again. You adjust the placement of the laminate on center of the pans. I'd say an, uh, probably an installation that would take no more than 45 seconds of laminate. And then you basically leave your wires here so you run your wiring all along your ridge line. What have we done here? We've created a lot of benefits. One, these pans are foam to the roof deck, like a standard metal which would be screwed down. No, this is foam. This does not have one penetration. The other advantage that we have here, we have the capability of putting this throughout the entire house. Why? Because all we have to do is put a tile over it. We've created an aesthetically appealing solar integrated roof system using a traditional barrel tile. This laminate you can walk all over, you can drag your feet. One of the advantages of the metal pan system is, is that it has a variable width and a variable length. Uh, this would accommodate other th uh, thin film technologies like this panel SFX1 by Solar Power. Along the ridge we would be able to place more panels if, a power, if an increased power density was required. Uh, there are many technologies being made in the United States that require less labor, no glass, flexible, lightweight, and this metal pan in a variable width will be able to interface with all of them. For those green enthusiasts who are interested in turning their roof into a hot plate non-glaze collector, you can use a PEX tubing. We use a PEX Alpex in this situation where it has a thin aluminum sleeve built in. It's a uh, polyethylene, cross-linked polyethylene. It's been used for 30 years uh, in Europe and uh, up in the north they're starting to use it now underneath metal roofs. Problem is metal roofs are too expensive for residential. So what we're doing here is, is that we are using the universal pan or the solar pans, we're using the heat energy off it to be collected in this uh, PEX tubing. So you'll be able to use the heat from your roof to heat your hot water for domestic use for the pool. And they, it won't be exposed to the elements. It won't be sitting outside and unsightly. This is very inexpensive. I got this roll of uh, PEX tubing off of the internet for $150, 500 linear feet. Awesome stuff. You could uh, bend it. This actually replaces copper tubing um, and you can weave it throughout this entire field area at your leisure and then install a tile on top and basically you get a free hot water system. Uh, the uh, solar panels actually operate better in lower conditions, heat. Uh, these thin film panels actually work good in high heat conditions. So we're just using the heat off of your roof, underneath the roof space, uh, to heat your hot water. Using this non-traditional method of installing traditional materials, you are able to exact the advantages that one has over the other. Uh, roof tile has some advantages and it's extremely flexible in the field area to do the installation. The metal pans even further that, that installation uh, effectiveness and you are able to capture whatever advantages you have for the solar energy systems. It just makes absolute sense. It economizes the system. The system is actually cheaper. It should be used as a retrofit over existing asphalt shingles. That way you circumvent the demolition. You don't send the demolition to the landfill. That's one of the big problems with uh, asphalt shingles is that they only last 20 years at most, maybe 12, uh, 17 is probably like the average. They're all made of petroleum. Um, they don't last very long. They don't give you any protection in a hurricane. And here we have an energy system that is lowering your expense for roof tile because you're actually using the same footprint of the solar to offset your expenses for the traditional material. You can install it right over, save yourself on the demolition, and then actually have an extra layer underneath your roof. Today we have successfully, I think, talked about the Artisanos hybrid roofing system. We've talked about the benefits of it. 
We've talked about the Artisanos hybrid roosting system integrated with a solar photovoltaic thin film laminate. We've talked about the Artisano system integrated with solar thermal for heating water. And basically what we have here is a very antiquated technology, very um, productive, works very well, has been in Florida since 1919. This is a solar thermal system for domestic hot water. It circulates via a photovoltaic pump circulating water from the bottom to the top returning it to a basically hot water tank this idea has worked very well using the rays of the sun to heat water for your house to mitigate the demand of a heating element in a hot water tank to make hot water what you've basically seen over here using the solar thermal is the same idea. As of right now, what I'm doing is pretty much integrating the solar thermal for pool heating. It is very possible to down the line integrate it for a domestic hot water system. But as of right now, for the last 92 years, what has worked is the standard solar water collector. Today we have gone over a lot of interesting facets about the advantages that we have to offer here with our system. We've talked about it, the ease of installation, we've talked about the mechanical benefits as far as the attachment resistance, we've talked about the fact that there's no penetrations to the roof deck, so it's very non-invasive. We've talked about how we integrated the solar thin film into our product. This is Danny's creation here that he's holding in his hand, which is the metal pan tile, which is the product that you would see if you did place an order. And basically, we've also talked about the solar thermal having to do with the pool heating integrated with the tile system. And then we've talked about the domestic hot water solar thermal system. We are going to continue making these videos and we're going to continue educating people. We are hoping that through this, we get a response and we um, would hope that people have as many comments as many questions to ask us so the next time that we do offer this video we can have all those questions and comments answered because this is just the beginning of what we have coming we are going to change the roofing technology not only in the tile part but Danny will give you a brief uh, synopsis on what we have coming up next in reference to the changing from petroleum based products integrating new recyclable long lasting and lightweight products we're pushing for the use of a single polypropylene underlayment uh, it's a thousand feet per roll it weighs uh, 28 to about 40 pounds depending upon the thickness and mills that you want and this technology would be what you tin cap over an existing shingle roof and it would be your anchor sheet so you could foam a system like this onto that so what danny is pretty much outlining to you is the fact that our next step is to get this recovery over shingles. That means that we are not going to fill landfills anymore with used underlayments and shingles that are going to take years and years and years to disintegrate. The future is coming soon. What's coming next is, is this same installation over a polypropylene single mechanically fastened underlayment uh, that doesn't contain petroleum and to make the asphalt shingles, existing asphalt shingles, more sustainable and not ripping them off and throwing them at the landfill. So we're looking at using this as a recovery over the existing asphalt shingles to incorporate all the benefits of solar, increase uh, hurricane hazard mitigation, and energy efficiency. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, please check out our website, www.artisanos.com.